Well, spring has sprung, but winter certainly isn't leaving quietly, at least for people in the northeast and mid-Atlantic regions. This is what spring had in store for drivers passing through parts of Pennsylvania early today. From New York City to southern Connecticut, as predicted, snow started falling in the late Friday afternoon, sending some to social media to document the irony of this spring snowstorm and leaving others dreaming. I wish the first day of spring was all flowers and happiness. I'm over it. It's been the longest, coldest winter. We're angry. We're being defiant, so we're walking out here with our umbrellas <laughs> and protest. And the good thing about this storm, it's a quick one that should be cleared out by morning. And taking a live look over downtown Spokane right now, we've had gloomy skies cloudy skies throughout the day and we're going to continue seeing that overnight but we are going to mix some rain in with that overnight tonight we are going to see lows in the 40s so we are going to drop off a little bit scattered showers are going to start moving in as well and then tomorrow is when we're really going to see things change rain throughout the day afternoon thunderstorms a high of 57 so we're not going to be as warm we're also going to see those windy conditions winds will be out of the southwest 15 to 25 miles per hour so it is going to be a bit of a stormy day. 61 was our high today, a low of 39. Usually our high is about 50 this time of year and 33 for our low. So we were very warm today and we're going to continue being warm tomorrow, but we are going to see that unsettled weather move in as well. Right now, still 60 in Spokane. Winds moving southwest at 12 miles per hour. Coeur d'Alene is at 61 degrees. Winds moving south southwest at three miles per hour. And you can see on our radar that system starting to make its way in that low pressure system just moving in from the coast right now. And that's going to bring us those scattered showers overnight tonight. This is a fast moving system. So we're only going to see about a tenth of an inch of rain from this and mountain area is going to see possibly an inch of snow as this moves through. But what's really going to uh, happen next is Saturday throughout the day. We're going to see those chances of rain and then Saturday afternoon we are going to see isolated thunderstorms with this system, which is the first First one of the season. Also possibly some uh, cloud to ground lightning with this system and the possibility of pea sized hail. A lot of that possibility will be to the north of Spokane, but Spokane is not out of the woods. We could see some of that thunderstorm here in Spokane as well. As we head into Sunday, we'll briefly see high pressure build over the region. This will be brief though, so we're going to cool, cool down, dry out. We're going to see uh, some patchy fog in the morning as well as that high pressure builds and then another low pressure system just waiting in the wings for us is going to move in on Monday, bringing chances of rain throughout the day Monday and into Tuesday, possibly into Wednesday as well. So we're just going to see a brief dry out period on Sunday. Some areas going to continue seeing those showers, especially to the north of Spokane Sunday morning before we dry out uh, as we head into Sunday afternoon. Overnight tonight, we are going to start seeing those chances of scattered showers. Likely overnight throughout the evening, we'll see rain. Temperatures in the 40s with those scattered showers and those thunderstorms not until tomorrow afternoon for OMAC and Moses Lake highs in the 50s and low 60s chances of rain again those isolated thunderstorms possible in the afternoon rainy and windy here in Spokane winds gusts near 40 miles per hour rainy and windy for the Northeast Mountains in northern Panhandle of Idaho that snow level around 4,500 feet tomorrow again up to an inch of snow accumulation rain showers for western Montana Pullman Moscow and Lewiston tomorrow as well highs in the 50s and 60s still so still above average 55 in Seattle tomorrow 59 in Portland and 61 in Yakima rain wind and thunder will be the focus on Saturday again we could see some cloud to ground lightning with this system also the possibility of pea sized hail so just be aware of that windy conditions as well we're going to see those gusts up to 40 miles per hour especially to the north uh, portion of the state as well as the northern panhandle of Idaho foggy starting out on Sunday but will clear out to partly sunny skies high highs in the 60s so we're just going to see that brief dry out that would be the nice weekend day <laughs> that we all wish for in the spring yeah. and then Monday more showers as we head into Tuesday continuing with those showers temperatures starting to climb back up as we head towards the weekend so it's just going to be a bit of a roller coaster with that weather tomorrow's going to be a bit of a doozy no kidding we yeah. got just about everything yeah tomorrow would be, yeah. For tomorrow would be a good day to stay inside maybe watch some basketball watch some basketball